Let's go over to Georgia, which is uh, right north of us here in Florida. I don't know what accent that was that I'm using, but does that sound like a Georgian accent? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you all shook your head at the same time. Uh, here is Stacey Abrams, and Stacey Abrams, who of course uh, has no resume. This is a woman who the only thing she is known for, uh, besides for setting a record at the Golden Corral Buffet, is uh, is that she ran for governor last time, and then when she lost, she said that it was an illegitimate election. Does she have no resume, Dave Rubin? Is that really the case? Now, of course, uh, throwing in a not so subtle uh, shaming of her body was uh, the point of that entire commentary. But I wanna actually focus on the heart of what Dave Rubin is arguing here in regard to Stacey Abrams, who I don't know, Cenk, I would venture to say is known for much, much more than what Dave Rubin is known for and certainly has a lot more on her resume, politically speaking, than Dave Rubin ever has and ever will. Uh, but I, I wanna provide some evidence to really back up the point that I'm making here. Before I do, I wanna give you an opportunity to jump in. Yeah, no, look, uh, there's obviously two different issues here. One is uh, the enormous irony of lightweight Dave Rubin talking about anybody else's credentials, but we will address that. <laughs> uh, the other is the obvious ha ha, she's overweight joke. Uh, and he's a failed comedian, we're gonna address that as well. Uh, and you could tell in lines like that. And guys, look, there's a little bit of uh, immunity idol, right? So I, so I might be, have a little bit more leeway in, in criticizing fellow Tur Turks or Muslims or Torks, apparently, um, and uh, <laughs> fellow twerkers. Uh, and and you know, so I might be able to make a Chris Christie joke here and there because uh, I'm also an overweight New Jerseyan, uh, but. Uh, Ruben, good for him, has no leg to stand on physically here. Uh, he's in perfectly good shape and him going, ah, aren't my opponents fat? It's pretty gross, uh, So, but that's par for the course, I suppose. Yeah, I, I've got no immunity idol in regard to that. I also um, am on the record uh, fat shaming Alex Jones. So no. uh, the critique toward Dave Rubin on this <laughs> might even extend to me, although, I see Alex Jones as a disgusting like person, <laughs> just absolutely horrific, grotesque person. And so uh, I'm not saying that's an excuse, it is what it is. But I actually think the accusation that there is no substance to Stacey Abrams is just a fascinating accusation coming from Dave Rubin. Because regardless of what you think about Stacey Abrams and her politics, let's say you're on the left and you don't really agree with some of her stances that tend to be a little more moderate when it comes to some issues. Fact of the matter is uh, she did spearhead an incredibly important effort to galvanize voters in Georgia to, you know, and she's not solely responsible for that. I think that you know, liberal media outlets really went overboard in giving her pretty much all the credit, but she did something that's incredibly difficult to do, which is, uh, provide a strategy, engage in a strategy that galvanized voters in the state of Georgia. And that made all the difference when it came to Senate runoff races, when it came to the election of <laughs> uh, Joe Biden, of course. You know, she's very much uh, an important role in that, in that context. And she's certainly a lot smarter than Dave Rubin, but I feel a little gross even saying that because it is literally the lowest bar imaginable, okay? She's a smart woman, she's a successful woman, and she's a force to be reckoned with. Whereas Dave Rubin is not only an individual who provides comedic relief to the left, he provides comedic relief to the right. I mean, he is a human dunk fest, like it's constant with him. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you this next video, which both shows the insane lack of self awareness coming from Dave Rubin when it comes to accusing others of not having the credentials necessary to be taken seriously, and also shows just how deeply untalented he really is. Let's watch. I was a good comic. I really was. Right. I really was. I'll send you some stand up or, you, or something. Yeah. Like, I was. Like, I'm a good comic. Trust me, I'm a good comic. Don't People wear look. the MAGA hat. You guys in the mood for a tremendous. This girl's reading everything. You just want to read. I feel like that would, if you read a lot, you'd become bisexual. Like, you just keep reading. And then one day you get, I don't know, some words and then. Okay. You have your foot up his balls. 
<laughs> we had a little delay here. What happened? You were with me. Now I needed you. That's where I could have used you. I, uh, I'm very happy. We had, the comics are literally so excited. As I walked out, one of the comedians said to me, how gay are you going to be for this show? Which I think, that's, that's a sign. Don't you think? Okay, we'll edit laughter in there. So... <laughs> Good grammar. Lychee. I got some lychee. I'm, I'm not kidding. As I had it in my mouth, she said to me, Dave, you know, that has the same consistency as vagina. <laughs> and I've been out of the game for probably 10 years. And can anyone else confirm that? Is it, is it a heavy uh, vagina uh, feeling? <laughs> Very good. So is this your lady right here? Are you in a lady mode? Do you go in modes? I'm always wondering about the bisexuals. No. You, so you just, you don't... Whatever I feel like more than I feel. Lesbians giving other lesbians flowers. Have you ever heard anything more beautiful than that? Obviously you have. Oh, you have a... This is my impression. It's the only impression I do. I literally haven't done it for years. This is my impression of Yoda having sex. Yoda having sex. <laughs> That was that was stand-up comedy that he uh, attempted to do. Just in, in case anyone's confused about what that was, that was his attempted at stand-up comedy. Well, um, and I, I do want to give him credit for a couple of things. Uh, he got do me you? To, yeah, I do. I do. So look <laughs> at how fair I'm about to be. Uh, he got me to sympathize with Bill Maher for the first time in like a decade, <laughs> uh, so where Bill Maher was like, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you have to tell people seven times, no, but really, really, I'm a good comic. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. You should think about that a little bit. No, but really, but really, I am. Right. Okay. So, and and remember, Bill Maher <laughs> uses this guy too. Like that. This is the hey, look, he, he, you know, the immunity idol that I was kidding around about before. Like the right wing thinks it's real. They're like, oh no, Dave Rubin's gay, so he's allowed to say terrible, hateful things about gay people to validate all of our opinions, right? And and Maher agrees with him on other things, etc. Anyway. Uh, and I like the lady in the audience too. When he was talking to, I don't. He claimed they were bisexual. One of the ladies in the audience was like, about his joke. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was all of America. But I, I just want to clarify, just in case anybody missed it, Stacey Abrams was the minority leader in the Georgia House of Representatives. Like, was no credentials, Jake. <laughs> I mean, that no is a massive position, right? That's not like a little position. <laughs> She was the minority leader, the leader of the Democratic Party in the Georgia House of Representatives, and she was there. Now, this is always a funny word. This word is funnier than Dave Rubin's entire career. Gubernatorial candidate twice, right? So, uh, yep. so the idea that Dave Rubin, who's like, no, but I swear I was a comic, was I? I swear I was really good, is criticizing her credentials and then going, <laughs> she's overweight. Oh, <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, that tells you all you need to know. Yeah, final thing I'll say about this is, in my mind, there are two kinds of people. And this this is really the only characteristic that matters to me. Because if I'm dealing with a group of people who have this characteristic, I could at least have a conversation with them, right? And that characteristic is integrity. That's the most important characteristic in my mind. People with integrity, even if they disagree with you politically, at least they're coming from a sincere place and they're not paid mouthpieces for moneyed interests and for corporate goons. Dave Rubin has zero integrity. That is again, the most important credential that he lacks, personality trait that he lacks. He's got no values, no principles, no integrity whatsoever. So to hear someone who's literally a paid propagandist Talk smack about someone who not only has credentials, but more importantly, seems to be a sincere person who has integrity, is is laughable. And that mashup of his failed stand-up was something I came across a few weeks ago. Thought about showing it on the program, and then I said, no, you know what? It's actually so cringe, I almost feel bad for him. So why? Why needlessly bring this up? But Dave Rubin made me do it. You made me do it, Dave. You made me do it.
congratulations. <laughs> All right. By let's the way, move on. Can, I just going to know. I'm going to do, <laughs> yeah. do one last note here. Um, Dave Rubin's so bad at what he does. He actually kind of started the fake left. To be fair to the guy, right? But even the fake left's like, oh no, obviously Dave Rubin's not part of us. <laughs> <laughs> When you lose even the fake, their whole shtick is being fake, right? And they're like, no, no, he's, no, he's too fake. No, <laughs> he's got no fans anywhere. I'm like, dude, man, politically unhoused uh, and uh, and definitely earned it. Um, so I, I yes. hope he enjoys his actual house because that's all he's got left. No integrity, no friends, no allies, no fans, no nothing. You know, even in the video where he decided to make a fat joke about Stacey Abrams, it's hilarious because he paused for laughter and no one in the room laughed. None of his producers, none of the stage crew, no one. There was that like awkward pause even during his disgusting fat joke, but it is what it is. That's who Dave Rubin is.